Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. John 6.35 John 6.35 is a powerful verse where Jesus proclaims, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This verse is a part of a conversation Jesus had with a crowd of people after he miraculously fed thousands with just a few loaves of bread and fish. In this statement, Jesus uses the metaphor of bread to describe himself. Bread provides sustenance and nourishment, and Jesus offers spiritual nourishment and satisfaction to those who seek him. Just as physical hunger and thirst can leave us feeling empty, Jesus assures us that in him we can find lasting satisfaction for our souls. By saying, whoever comes to me will never go hungry, Jesus emphasizes that those who seek him and develop a personal relationship with him will find their deepest needs met. When we come to him in faith, Jesus promises to fill the void within us and provide the spiritual nourishment and fulfillment that our souls long for. Additionally, Jesus states, whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. This highlights that believing in Jesus and having faith in him leads to a satisfaction that extends beyond physical needs. As we trust in him, we find true fulfillment and purpose in life. John 6.35 reminds us that Jesus is the ultimate source of spiritual sustenance, satisfaction, and fulfillment. When we come to him in faith, we are filled with his presence, love, and grace, and our souls are deeply satisfied. This verse invites us to seek and believe in Jesus, knowing that he alone can meet our greatest needs and provide the abundant life that he promises. Let's pray, Father, we humble ourselves before you in the name of Jesus. We acknowledge that we should trust you entirely in every aspect of our lives. In today's world, it's easy to forget our need for you. Sometimes we make decisions without consulting you, following our own will and believing we are following your lead. We ask for your help in being guided by the Holy Spirit and in not trying to do your work for you. We recognize that you are always present for us, and we ask for your continued guidance to identify areas of our lives where we need to surrender to you completely, relying solely on you instead of our own talents and abilities. We thank you for the gifts you've given us, and we praise you for them. We pray that you open our hearts and minds to recognize the areas where we overlook your assistance. We want to be completely reliant on you so that you are the source of life and sustenance within us and that we may remain faithful to you always. In Jesus' name, amen.